To make the basic solar whirly gig, start by folding the sides of a cardboard CD box and inserting the tab. On the top of the box, make two marks 3 8 inch in from the upper edge and about 2 inches apart. Draw a line connecting the two marks. On this line, make a mark 2 and 3 8 inch from the right side of the box. About a half inch below the line, make another mark 2 and 3 8 inch from the right side. Connect these two marks with a line. A 90 degree angle is formed by the two lines. Put a nickel in the corner of this angle and draw a circle around the edge of the coin. Next make two marks a half inch from the bottom edge of the box about two inches apart. Draw a line connecting the two marks. On this line measure a half inch from the right side of the box and draw an X. Measure one and eleven sixteenths inches from the right side of the box and draw another X on the line. Punch holes through each X with a sharp pencil. Unfold the box and cut out the circular hole for the motor with an X-Acto knife. If necessary, enlarge the hole slightly with a pencil to better fit the motor. From inside the box, push the motor into the circular hole with the wires on the inside of the box. Remove the nuts and washers from the large solar cell and push the threaded posts through the holes on the top of the box. Attach the motor wires to the posts on the solar cell. Replace the nuts and washers on the cell posts and screw the nuts tight. Make sure the box can be closed with the motor in place. Then open the box and add hot glue around the motor to hold it in. Next, align the yellow wheel with the center of the CD. It helps to hold them up to the light and center the cross-shaped shadow on the back of the wheel with the hole in the CD. Use hot glue to attach the wheel to the CD. Then decorate the whirly gig by hot gluing various art supplies to the CD. When set, put the yellow wheel on the motor axle. Finally, bring your whirly gig into the sunlight and watch it spin. Mm -hmm.